Hello, my name's Ken Knight. I'm from Princess Motor Yacht Sales. We're here on a sunny morning uh, in Ocean Village in Southampton, just before the beginning of the South Coast Boat Show. And we're here today to look at Phoenicia, a Princess 64, which is a, a lovely example and I'd like to show you around. So here we are coming onto the aft deck of Phoenicia and it's a fantastic large open sociable space. The condition of the boat really does reflect how she's been well maintained and looked after. The teak's in great order and what a lovely space to enjoy. The table is large and generous, uh, it can fold it up or unfurl. you can get six to eight people around it uh, and really enjoy this in comfort for, um, for cruising. She is a high specification example that we've got here, so other features that we've got on this aft deck to make life easier are the uh, electric line handlers, so uh, for pulling the lines in it makes life a lot easier, not relying on, uh, on muscle power but using the boat to do the hard work. And then we also have the third helm station here, so if you're going stern to or even side to if you want really good visibility it makes handling the boat very easy. Other features we've got that uh, this boat enjoys is the high-low platform and we've got a Williams 325 down on the platform at the moment. Let's go and take a look. Uh, it's a generous swim platform with a high-low hydraulic bathing platform so it allows for easy launch and recovery of the tender. We've got a large Williams 325 here which is powerful enough to do water sports and uh, ideal for ferrying people from anchor uh, ashore or to from the, the vessel. We also have a nice feature on this boat, which is the backlit name. Just a real nice touch, which allows the boat to be recognised. It gives her a sense of presence, especially at night time, um, which makes her stand out. Also back here, we've got a nice feature, which is the letterbox passerelle. Classic for med operation, if needs be. Uh, we're side two to the dock here, so it's not needed in this application, but gives you real flexibility as to how you can tie the boat up and uh, berth her. Let's go and explore a little bit further. This uh, Princess 64 from New was built with crew accommodation, so she's got a very generous crew cabin which is accessed through the starboard aft quarter. It could be used by crew, but equally if it's going to be an owner operator, um, that space could be used as overflow accommodation if you want a guest to go in there as well. You've also got a really nice clean aft deck here, so with these electric winches for handling lines, you've got bins for the, uh, the bitter end, so you can always be kept nice and tidy. Other things that are really nice around this aft deck is we've got a fusion stereo system for enjoying a little bit of entertainment and we've also got really large lazarette space uh, in the deck here for storage of equipment and covers. The covers we've just got in there at the moment are very very good condition so you can fully enclose this uh, aft deck if the weather's inclement. Uh, they're a nice grey cover, very smart and in, in modern keeping that uh, tie in nicely with the upholstery which has been renewed recently as well. Let's go and explore a little bit more and uh, have a look inside. As we step into the saloon, straight away we're hit by how light and bright this space is. Flooded in light, large aperture windows on both sides, controllable with the blinds, just makes it for a lovely, lovely space. And you've got that classic princess luxury as soon as you step in. I think that's driven from the walnut satin joinery, which is paired with the cream upholstery, just a very classic pairing, very enduring and uh, befitting beyond her years. The owners have kept up to date with this boat, um, which the carpets have been replaced, one of the tables has been replaced, so the condition is really, really good and you just would not think that she was constructed in 2013. We've got some other features in this boat, we've got the high-low TV which will pop out on the port side, we've also got a fridge, um, the obligatory uh, drinks cabinet with glasses, so she's a really well equipped space for, for entertaining. So just a couple of steps up and we are into the forward saloon area. We've got this really generous table on the port side for, for dining, comfortably get six people around uh, if the weather's not uh, that clement and you're not enjoying outside and then we can have a look at the galley which is on the starboard side. The galley here, which is uh, just off the saloon, um, is just a really popular layout. So if you're an owner operator and you're enjoying cooking, you can really be engaged with everyone on the boat if you're entertaining. But equally, if you've got the uh, washing piled up in the sink, then you can close the screens here and uh, section that area off, which is just a nice way of uh, working. go 
and have a look at the helm. So it's a nice layout set on the starboard side. We've got uh, pilot, co-pilot seats, um, and you may just notice the door here as well, which is just a lovely feature on boats. So anyone that's had a boat before will understand the value of that. Be able to get direct access to the deck, communicate with the crew, um, or maybe at that key moment, once you've got the boat alongside, you want to nip out on deck yourself. Um, so yeah, that, the value of that is really important. Lots of, lots of equipment here, fully set up boat. So we've got large Raymarine twin 16 inch plotters. We've got radar, um, VHF, all the equipment you would expect. Some of the key things on this boat, um, it is equipped from new with the upgraded side power hydraulic thrusters, both bow and stern. So that gives you a huge amount of control, very progressive when you're coming alongside um, to tie the boat up. So often the largest decisions an owner faces when they're buying a yacht from new is what options to choose. Uh, and this boat has some fantastic options, some really big expensive options that were chosen, none less so than the larger upgraded engine. So this has got a Caterpillar 18A engine, so it's 1150 horsepower. Um, which are on demand with the throttles here. And that coupled with the hydraulic side power thrusters, both bow and stern, makes for a really tactile, enjoyable helming experience for anyone that's driven a large yacht. Um, you don't want something that's underpowered and you're certainly not in this scenario. Other big options that this boat comes with is the gyro stabilizer, which was fitted. So she has a Seakeeper um, stabilization system that works not only when you're underway, but also if you're anchor, you get the comfort and enjoyment from that. Um, if you're enjoying lunch uh, with, with the anchor down. You've also got the larger upgraded generator on this boat, so it's a 17.5 kilowatt Onan system, and that mated with the reverse cycle air conditioning means that you've got both comfort and power on board this example. So here we are, just down a few steps from the saloon uh, into a lobby area, just as we go forward into the accommodation. This boat's got loads of accommodation. It's a four cabin boat, You've got a midship's master cabin, which we'll explore in more detail, VIP forward, uh, starboard side is a double or a twin, depending on how you want to configure it. And then we've also got a bunk cabin on the port side as well. So let's have a little look. So here we are in the master cabin, midships. And the thing that hits me straight away is just the size and scale of these windows. Um, if you're not at a boat show with a Crunchy 35 outside, you are going to really enjoy the, uh, the view that they let in, especially if you wake up and you're at anchor. What a, what a wonderful way to enjoy your boat. Uh, this boat also came with the upgraded uh, upholstery. So you'll find that the bed heads are quite distinctive on this boat, and add a, an extra bit of styling that you won't see on other boats uh, of this uh, model on the market. We've got the lit vanity unit here on the starboard side, the really luxurious heads, which are starboard side forward, TV at the bottom of the bed, and then we've got the lovely trademark chaise long on the port side where you guys are. Let's go and have a look on the flybridge, so I think that's all we've got left to look at. So here we are on the flybridge. As you'd expect with a 64 foot yacht, it's a significant space and it doesn't disappoint. I'd imagine most owners would spend quite a lot of time up here, uh, entertaining, and uh, it's a key part of the boat. One of the really nice features that this boat was built with from new is the hard top roof. So you've got a sliding canvas element in the middle uh, if you want the sun to come in. But equally, if you want to sit around the table, enjoy lunch without being in the complete heat of the sun, in the direct sun, then you can close that uh, and enjoy a little bit more shade. We've got the galley here on the port side. We've got a griddle for, uh, for your barbecuing. Uh, with fridge below, decent sized fridge, swallow all your drinks. But if that is not enough, there is a second drinks cooler, uh, which is beside the helm station there, which is pretty cavernous to, uh, to deal with your, uh, your needs. Other features we got on this boat, large table on the starboard side here, easily large enough to get uh, eight to 10 people around in comfort. We've got this lovely new Silvertex gray fabric, which fitted the boat in 2019. So she's always been kept up to date and maintained. And that ties in with the grey canvas we've got as an aft closing kit down on the main deck. Grey is very much a sort of modern colour, um, keeping the boat sort of modern and uh, up to date with the times. Behind me, we've got uh, large sun pads. So 
easy enough space for sort of three, four people in comfort and a beautiful space to, uh, to enjoy as you're cruising along on your journey. As we go forward, we've got a bench seat on the starboard side, so it's not just about the person on the helm. Um, we've got uh, space for two, maybe three people and quite a bit of comfort there to enjoy cruising. But you've also got a pilot and co-pilot seat here at the helm. Well equipped as you'd expect, twin plotters, raymarine, touch screen uh, and all the navigational aids and controls that we've got downstairs that are mirrored up here as well. So here we are at the end of our tour of Phoenicia. I've really enjoyed showing you around. I hope you've enjoyed having a good look around her. She's a stunning example of a Princess 64. Specced well from new with lots of major options. Upgraded along the way with canvas and upholstery. And she's just been serviced by our Princess Service Department, so ready to go for the season. She's a UK VAT paid vessel. And if you'd like to find out more information, see a full suite of photos, a 3D tour, technical specification, and importantly, the price, please look at our website, which is princess.co.uk. And if you'd like this uh, channel, please do subscribe.